Hey guys, it's Mimi and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here. Welcome into this week's episode of Thursday Afternoon Live Show. We're glad to have you with us today. Um, we've been a little absent here lately, but we're glad to be back with you today. Weather's nice today and pretty outside. If you haven't done it yet, there's a red button down there. We want you to click it and subscribe. Help us reach our goal of 400,000 in 2022. Our time's running short, so jump on and help us out if you can. Also, if you enjoy what you see today, be sure to keep click that thumbs up and let us know you're enjoying what we're doing. Um, if you've never been here before, we have an online craft store where you can buy the, all the supplies that you see in our videos today. And um, it is at maymaymadeit.com. So check that out and let's get started. Maymay, what's going on today? Well, <laughs> we're going to get started, but we're having a chocolate melting situation. So I know, long story. That's what we're doing. We're waiting on some chocolate to get melted because today starts, aren't you glad it's Christmas? Now, aren't where did this come from? Where did this come from, right? Let me tell you what Orange You Glad It's Christmas is. Orange You Glad It's Christmas is our version of Vlogmas. It's not really Vlogmas at all. It's just that every weekday in December from now till the 22nd, we're going to go live at 2 p.m. and do some sort of segmented show for you guys. And we're working really hard to make this be super, super fun and something for you to watch every day um, until the 22nd. Now, why the 22nd? Because the 23rd is my anniversary. My children come in from Texas. I want to be off for the weekend, for the long weekend. So we're going to give you guys something every day until then. Okay. I got fun stuff. Why is it called Orange You Glad It's Christmas? Because we're segmenting the show. So each show will have segments of things. Okay. And today we have one, two, three, four, four segments. I do believe it is. Mm. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, Shannon is melting chocolate. So I'm trying to wait on her to get here because we're going to use that in today's show. We're going to use the chocolate and I will start prepping for when that gets here. <laughs> But our, um, our microwave, he's scary. Does anybody remember when Jordan worked for us? Talking about our microwave. Anybody remember when Jordan worked for us and what he named our microwave? Anybody remember that? Like bonus points if you do. <laughs> that microwave is so hot. Like so hot. And it's, it's a struggle. It's a little struggle. So we're working on it. We'll see what we can do. How to get that out there. Okay. Is she ready? I really don't want to start the second segment. The idea was we would start the first segment because we're melting chocolate. Now you're like, why are we doing chocolate? Well, let me tell you. I thought it would be fun to do this segmented first show, all orange. So it's all oranges, all cinnamon, all Christmas. Everything we're doing is oranges or cinnamon. Or, well, everything we're doing is like oranges. And so I wanted to make for you Vinny's favorite mm. um, candy treat at Christmas mm. that you guys can make as well. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be super fun. I'm learning how to choose the right. Okay, Siri, Siri she's talking. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna step over here to the table, let Vinny chat with you guys and say where everybody's from for a minute. I'm gonna step to the table and I gotta switch the scene and I gotta get the thing. Okay, so you so can what, do that What for did me. you tell me you wanted me to be doing? Just say hello to everybody. Tell so us where everybody's up, everybody? from. Uh, we're glad that you're here with us today. I'm having so much fun trying to figure out how to do what I'm trying to do. And none of it is cooperating with me. So <laughs> just kind of know that we're trying to get there. We're good now. I've got some melted chocolate. Shannon just came back in the room. Melted you got your mic chocolate. on? I have my mic on. Reminded to do that. All right. You might be wondering, can I see that mouse? What is Vinny's favorite treat? Some of you guys already know this because I did a video on this one time a long time ago. Um, I say a long time ago, pretty long time ago, I think. I couldn't see my, my screen. Pretty long time ago. You're going to need that. Okay, so what it is, it's so easy and it's so good. I call them dreamsicle slices, okay? And because everything is about oranges, we're going to start with these guys. We found these at the Wally World. You can get these anywhere. I think you can. Do you guys in other countries have orange slices? And if not, do I, I need to... Say, they have them at Walgreens. I saw them this morning. Do I need to tell y'all what an orange slice is in case you don't have these? Because I don't mind. Like, some of you guys may not. So they're basically, I think they're called jellied candies. This doesn't say. Basically, they are sugar and corn syrup. <laughs> That's it. So look, here's what they are. They smell good. Everything in here smells like oranges today. 
They are jellied candies like this. See that? And Vince loves them as they are. There's yes, a taste. I get to eat one. Yes, you do. He loves them as they are. But look at this. Oh, my stars. But look at this. Here's what we're going to do. So Shannon has been melting our chocolate. I typically would do this over a double boiler, boiler, but we're trying to do this in the studio, which is kind of hard. And here's what I like to do, and I'll tell you why, okay? Vince likes it when I take the whole orange slice, put it in the chocolate, run it around, and give him a whole covered piece. But they're not as pretty that way. <laughs> they sure are good. So here's what I like to do. Like a dream sickle. I like to take it and dip it in halfway so that you still see some of the, this chocolate's a little thick. You might not want yours this thick, but it's just for, look, we're not in the kitchen today, okay? We're at the craft table. I think that is so cute to see half of the orange slice. And so there, you have a couple things you can do. You can do it like this, like I'm doing here, or you can submerge the whole thing. But on a tray, like if you're doing a charcuterie tray, did I say that right? Char, char. It sounded good. On a tray, I love these. I love to put these out just like when you have people coming over and like you have a tiered tray. It looks cute on a hot chocolate bar because they're just delicious to eat, just to snack on. So you just do this number. Now the other thing that I want to show you, which I think is really cool, how many of these you want to taste today? <laughs> you're going to want to try it. I'm going to want to try it. Okay, so I'll, I'll do a couple more. We'll, we'll do a couple more. The other thing she I love is try this. Just a few times. So I'm not as big into the white chocolate, okay? But this what's good. But if you do it with milk or dark chocolate, it is just as delicious. All right. So I'm going to show you that doing it with. Oh my God, this one we saved it. We saved it. I say we. Shannon this saved this chocolate. Doing the same thing. Even oh. Yeah. Okay. So check this out. Mm -hmm. This is so pretty when you mix these guys up together. Oh, I forgot I have to make several of these because we're going to package them before. That's part of the show today, too. I'm going to show you how to package these. Okay. Um, so we do need a little treat bag. <laughs> Poor Shannon. She's not going to get to sit down. You're going to see an empty spot for Shannon today. She's going to be running. You may see that a lot during the, the segmented um, Christmas show. But see how pretty these are? Now, I also think they would be really pretty if you put it in a pastry bag and drizzled over the top. Oh my goodness, I think that would be so good, so pretty. And I also think if you did dark chocolate, like a really good quality dark chocolate, because I'm a dark chocolate lover with orange. I like dark chocolate with fruit. But Kim says, is that dipping chocolate or frosting? Look, this is the Walmart brand milk chocolate flavored melting wafers. They come in this cup and you can put them in your microwave. This is not what I suggest. My favorite is the almond bark. I think it melts better. You know the big O? Yeah, yeah. It melts better. I put it in a, du a double boiler, and I usually just do this right next to the stove. I have a whole video for it. So, Tamith, if you want to share that video, um, I think it was called Vinny's Favorite Christmas Treat. This is what he likes at Christmas. This and his mama's Kringles, which maybe we can make her Kringles on the show. You've already done that, haven't you? What are Kringles? The what? Did yes. you make her little Chris Kringles? Yeah, they're Chris Kringles, and they're on yes, the other Pam, channel. Yes, Pam, it is not good for you as a diabetic, so I cannot <laughs> encourage you to do it, even though I'm going to do it and just take some medicine. He was leaving lunch, and he said, ooh, I get my treats today. Let me go take my diabetic medicine. That's it. Aren't these beautiful? Okay, we're going to let these sit and harden. My cool doctor off. did say moderation. Of course, you have to do it in moderation. We're gonna let so these cool. These don't eat too many. Oh, so good. They do. Ten you or fifteen what? at the most. I think we'll stop here <laughs> because they got to cool, and then we need to Probably package more them. Like two you want to just get us a enough. bag, and then we'll um. I've got some in that drawer right there if you want to get those. Okay. Oh wow. Also. That sounds good, Sheila. I think I've got some right there. Does she do the orange slices and the pretzels together? Vinny loves anything mixed. Okay. Because that would be something I'd have to try. Now, I do have to tell you this, okay? I wouldn't suggest doing this on aluminum foil, but I reached into my drawer of coverings, and I didn't have parchment tape paper at work. I like it on parchment paper. We'll probably be fine today, but I do prefer to do this on parchment. Not wax. Don't put this on wax paper. Wax paper will, you'll be sad. Um, okay, so I need to scoot these out of the way. We're going to go to the second orange-themed project. I have them somewhere. Are they hanging? Oh, look. They're right there, Shannon. Oh, hey, they're right there. Yep, they're hanging up where they're supposed to be. Imagine that. 
You want to um, set those over here? I do want to, but I also don't want them to slide everywhere. Setting them over here is probably a really bad yeah. idea. You can't eat them because we got to use them for another project. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, don't be telling me I can't eat them Can now after I've been sitting here. Grab a 12 by 12 paper bag. That'll work. Yeah, if you know, 10 or 15, that's great. <laughs> Perfect. And can't have 10 or 15. All right, guys. That was the first orange theme thing. Okay. The second orange theme thing is one of my favorites. This is something my grandmother did every year. And every time I do this, it takes me back. Okay. So I'm going to show you, and through the magic of television, Shannon has already done some. So I'll have some to show you how you can display them too. But check this out. So you're going to need navel oranges. Okay. And whole cloves. Now, I ordered these on Amazon, okay? So, you need whole cloves, and I'll show you what those are in a second if you don't know. Now, before I do this, I want to tell you Vince's um, dad's favorite way to use a navel orange at Christmas. That's another, it's all oranges today, okay? He likes to roll this. I'm not going to roll it because I don't want to make it juicy, but he likes to roll it like this and get it super, super juicy, okay? Super juicy. Then he takes like a paring knife. Now this is not for the kids, this is for you guys to do. You could probably do this with a core, like if you have an apple core, you could yeah. do it like that. He cuts a circle out around the navel here, okay, kind of deep, and then he scoops that little section out about the size of a nickel. About a nickel. Nine, probably. Something like Maybe that. Maybe a little bigger. Then he takes a soft peppermint stick, and I didn't have that to do today. Do you have a soft peppermint stick? I can't do it because I'm using these for something else. No, But I you don't. put the soft peppermint stick in like a straw, Okay, and this is, if Vinny had it, and this is why I can't have it, because it would be disgusting to listen to, okay? The whole time he's, you're doing it, <laughs> you're rolling the orange in your hand, and you're sucking on that peppermint, and that peppermint is pulling the orange juice into it, and it's like a peppermint um, orange juice. Yeah. And when Vinny good. does it, it's so funny. He keeps it in his hands. All you see, can y'all see my face? I can let him do it. All you see is him doing this and sucking on that peppermint and squeezing that juice out. It's so funny. <laughs> but that is something you should try for your kids. It's really good. Now, here's what my grandmother did. I'm going to show you two things, okay? I'm going to use a pokey tool today, which is kind of funny. My grandmother made um, clove oranges. This is probably not going to be new for a lot of you guys. Somebody may have never seen this before. And they are like, this is like a natural or a organic um, home decor scent, okay? But they're also beautiful to look at, but they smell so good. So what you do is you take an orange. I better do it over the plate because it probably gets juicy. I'll move that orange. You yeah. take an orange. <clears throat> and you make a pattern for your clothes. Now, you don't have to do a pattern necessarily. I'll show you. You can do something super easy and just do like some lines or something. But something Shannon did was she went online and found pictures and just kind of went, oh, I like that pattern. And, and you'll see hers in a minute. They're beautiful. But here's what you do. You use something to make a hole for the clove. I'm going to use a pokey tool because it's perfect. And it's just orange juice. You can just rinse it right off. I'm going to put some clothes onto my, to my plate here. This is so fun. I love doing this stuff. This just smells like Christmas, by the way. It's just Christmas. We have these all over our kitchen table. Well, you know, those are faux ones. I didn't do real ones. I found well, some yeah, faux ones. Well, yeah, I mean, they're still. You guys, we were at. The look is the same. I was going to bring some to show y'all. You just poke that in the hole in any, smell it. Oh, it's divine. In any pattern you want. I was going to bring them to show y'all. At Belk, they had some that were fake oranges done like this. And you could put them on your tree, and I put them on my kitchen table because they remind me of my grandma. And this year, I have my mother's china that my grandma gave her, her Christmas china, and I have it on the table, so I thought it had to have some of the oranges to go with it to remind me of grandma and mama. Mm -hmm. But I love this project. And this, now I will tell you something. It's strong, okay? When you're doing it, you feel this, this orange oil and the clove. You feel it in your throat, don't you, Shannon? Uh -huh. It's strong. Hey, you're Ooh, it is strong. I, somebody said you can do initials. I have done initials before. I did my kids. I did J's and T's. That's all I have to do <laughs> when my kids are little. And then I've done mine and Vince's. But you can just go all the way around the orange doing anything you want. Listen, it smells divine. It really, doesn't it, babe? It does. It Monica, so good. You're right. Y'all need smell-o-vision. Mm -hmm. So, Orangey Glad, it's Christmas. This is one of our first things we wanted to do. <coughs> I'm telling you though, it's this getting you. It does get you. Poor Shannon when she was doing it, she was just sniffing. Well, and like they squirt the juice, it's the and juice. oil back in your face. Mm -hmm. And I'm just I'm just going along and doing this about every half an inch. 
and I didn't really do a pattern on this one. I'm just kind of playing, but you could totally do a pattern. And I have so many times, and you'll see Shannon's in a second. Hers are so much better than mine. She did a good Kim job. Said you could poke multiple holes at one time and then come back and stick clothes in each hole. Yeah, if you wanted to. <laughs> Might be a little faster. I'm I driving know. people into it. We're to like, say. keep poking. Keep going. I'm just going to do some here, and you get the idea. But then I want to show you the second way of doing it, another way of doing it, which is really cool. And my grandmother did not do this way. I'm going to show you. That one got me just in. Woo, I felt it. So here's one side done. I won't do them all. Okay. There's that. Shannon Liz wants to know if <coughs> you and your family are all better. Um, yeah, we're getting there. Thank you. Now let me show working you this. Working on it. Working, working on, on it. it. So Grandma didn't do this. Okay. <laughs> Barbara, good question. We, we never ate them. Now... There was a time of year when Grandma would put them in the oven and kind of hurry up the drying. And she did that every now and then. But here's what we would do with them. Vince feeds this kind of fruit to the deer, like at his land. So we would probably take the cloves off because they're not going to touch the cloves. But put these with your oranges and stuff, they'd probably eat them. Or if you have something, you know. I wouldn't because Grandma left these out all month. They were her decor. Now, we went to Walmart because that's what we have in our town, okay? And we found this tool. I'm not going to say we. Shannon found this tool. We were looking for one of the, like a zester tool that has one of these little hooks on the end. But we couldn't find a zester tool. Instead, we found this. And it comes in a two-pack like this, okay? And it's made by um, Tom and Table. Oh, here we go. We'll show them this. It looks like this. It's a vegetable peeler julienne tool. And it's made by Tom and Table. You can probably find these online. But what we wanted were these little pieces here on the end. Did you use the round or the point? Um, the one that went too deep, I used that mm -hmm. one. I used that one for the other one. Now, here's what she meant by too deep, okay? You want to show them? You don't want to, I'll show them at the end. You don't want to go too deep because you really don't want to get into the, uh, what is that called underneath? The, the, the pith? Is it the pith? This is the, the pith, the right? Oil, is that the flesh uh, in there? I don't know. Yeah, the flesh. You don't want to get into the orange. But look here, you can do this. I'm trying to see. Oh, now I can see. And you can make a pattern using one of these guys. Now you may have a tool in your drawer at home that you can do this with. Just whatever you've got that can make a little pattern like this. I tried to think of something we had in the craft room. I don't have anything with a good thingy like this. Um, somebody asked how long they last. My grandma kept them out for the whole, I don't know, maybe not the whole month. My grandma did not decorate till she was a mid-December decorator, but I remember her doing these every year. So it might've only been a couple weeks that she kept these out. Kelly says hers get kind of moldy pretty quick. They they can, especially depending on your climate and how you keep your house. You Do you know? know a way to keep that from happening? No. Shellac them, maybe. Some people, that's what Mama used to do with pumpkins is spray Shellac. them with a... Do them daily? Do them with a... No, do them with a um, coat of clear coat. Mama used to do that with her pumpkin to make it last a long time outside. Really? Yeah, you know, she would put that pumpkin in her um, fountain outside. She's something else. And she would take a clear coat you just get from Walmart, and she would spray it, and then it just stayed. All right, so one more time. I'm really not trying to make these cute. I'm trying to do this quick because we have a lot we want to show you. Woo, this smells good. Now I want to eat them right now. All right, so once you've made your pattern, which may not look like much here. They really are pretty. Go in here and here. I'll, I'll do this so everybody's like, thank you. Did you do yours at multiple or one at a time? What do you mean? Did you poke your holes? Like oh, a yeah, I poke, 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 poke. Well. And then spilt, spilt, spilt. Shannon's, Shannon's method. It's poke, 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 stick, 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 stick. Oh, hallelujah. You can't try them now. What? No, you can. Did you decorate them? <laughs> yeah. Smart Alec. She decorated them without even, you didn't show them you decorating them. Oh, I did a bunch. Okay. So you can show them. Yeah. All right. Is it edible? So look, mm -hmm. see that? Isn't that cute? So there's your options. And let me show you how Grandma displayed them. Taking oh, y'all back to Grandma. Mercy, that's good. No, this is a combo of grandma and my mother, too. This is, th I love this. This is me showing y'all what I was raised with and what I was taught. So, grandma and mama. So, grandma would take a big bowl, okay? I'm going to take these out so y'all can see the reveal at the same time. <laughs> grandma would take a big bowl. So, what I have underneath here, let me get this out. Ignore what's in there. It's just from the wreath. I know it probably looks gross on camera. But grandma would take a big bowl or something. I'm going to use this metal tray, Okay. And then 
Mama would put a wreath in that bowl. This is how it went at my house. Mama decorated with wreaths on the table, around things. That's what she did. And then Grandma and Mama both would put their oranges in like this and see how it just automatically. That looks like a softball. <laughs> it automatically just kind of dresses that up the. That looks like a basketball. Isn't this cute? I should have used all the pretty ones up top, but now I'm sticking mine up top. We'll switch that around. And then you just sit this around like this, right? And it's just beautiful and it smells good. And Grandma also, just so y'all know, we'll move this over here so you can see it better. Well, we'll put it there. Grandma also would take cinnamon sticks and tie them with bows, like in three, three packs, and sit them around like this. So it was cinnamon and orange and oh my goodness, this is Christmas. Isn't it beautiful? It, and all the, the wreath does all that kind of decorating work. You don't have to do the work. You just put your oranges in, just lay them in a, dec in a situation, you know, just lay them around. Now, Sandra Jean asks, can she use clementines instead of oranges? I don't think clementines work are really as well. Expensive. Clementines don't work as well. I will tell you, we paid a dollar a piece for these at Walmart for these oranges. Um, but I'll also say this, just get an odd number, three, five, or seven, and just do one display of them, it's enough. But um, I don't think the clementines will work as well because they're so small, but you can try them, okay? Listen, she can almost smell them. They smell so good. So good. All right, so that's two of our first segments. How fun is that, right? I can tell you these segments are good. How fun is that? That's two of our first segments. Now, Shannon, just because you're over off camera don't mean you can just keep eating. Now. I'm not eating. Um, the, are they dry enough to fit in the bag yet? We can do that in a second. Yeah. Go ahead and start packaging them because here's what we're going to do, you guys. I wanted to do, since we're doing oranges, I just think this is a fun way to do things, do things in segments. Our next segment is our crafty segment. Here's what we're going to do. I wanted to hmm, lean into orange, okay? So here's what we did. We went into our stash and we found this paper pack. I'm going to show you. So we're going to go back, this segment is going to do our craft segment and it's going to go back to Vinnie's Treats, okay? We found this paper pack, Harvest Market, which is not a Christmas pack. This is what I want to show you. You don't have to use your paper for the holiday it's made for, okay? And we dug some paper out and I'll show you what we got out. We got out this one that looks like wood on the back and like festive on the top. I got this one out. I wasn't worried about the back because you're not going to see it, but I wanted some more orange. And then I got this guy out. And I'll show you what we're going to do. The first thing I want to do, the oranges are so delicious. The first thing I want to do is ink this guy. But where's my distress ink? Oh, here it is. <laughs> it got in the corner and I couldn't see it. Okay. So I'm going to distress ink this. I want you to think about um, cinnamon oranges. That's kind of where we're going here. I want this to feel kind of cinnamony, kind of orangey like that. So I'm going to ink around this. I'm not going to ink the bottom just yet because we're going to do a little tag shape there. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to do three sides real quick. Y'all, it smells so good. Vince, how does it smell? It's delicious. So good. The oranges. All right, so I'm going to do those two sides. And then real quick, I'm going to tag this. I think I left my um, cutter bees over there on that table. Shannon, do you see them? I think I left them over there when I was prepping. Thank you. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to do a little tag down here at the bottom. So the way we do that is I'm going to cut up in the middle. Then I'm going to go from the corner to that slice. And then I'm going to go from the corner to the slice again to get me this little tag shape here. Like so. Hey, that brown ribbon I think is in the... um. Um, ribbon thing. What size do you want? The little one. This one? Yeah. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to make another tag. These are our, what are they called? Fishtailing? I think that's called fishtailing. You guys do. We do this a lot. Then this. Oh, the power of suggestion makes y'all be able to smell it. That's so cool. All right. These guys I'm going to set aside. She has an, that's one of her gifts. Me, the power of suggestion? Yep. She can make you think something. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to stamp on it. And this is the perfect set. If you don't have this set, this is what you need when you're making orange slices. This is called cinnamental. And it's got the little cup and everything. But down here you have the little orange slices. And look, we have cloves and cinnamon sticks. You could make a little spicy gift to give to somebody and do this to make your tags. This is what we're going to use. 
So using VersaFine Onyx Black, this is my favorite for sentiments, okay? I'm gonna use the one that says, wishing you all the flavors of a delicious season. Isn't that cute? This would work with anything. It doesn't have to be just oranges. This set would work perfectly with anything you've got going on, giving away food stuff, right? All right, and then, look at that. Cute, cute. The next step, I need my little piece of white. What to do with it? I'll use this one. Which one? Okay. The brown one. Okay. <laughs> I think it's in the ribbon basket. Oh no, it might be in our Christmas basket. I can't find the Christmas basket. Right down here. It's in one of those right there. Mm -hmm. It might be in our Christmas. Oh, I don't want this one. Okay, I showed you this. I use VersaFine Onyx Black to do the sentiment, but I don't want to use this for this next part. For the next part, I want to use some Memento, which I have right here. Now, why do you think I want to use Memento? Vinny, do you know why? Do you know why That's I switched That's the one things? that moves, right? Memento doesn't move. Maybe that's why you don't, that's why you want to use it, because it don't move. Because I want to what? I don't know. I want to color them. Color them. So let's do this. Let's, let's make five in case I want to use five. Well, I've got two done already. We'll just do this for camera. All right, so I'm doing the orange from that same set. And now I'll pull two colors. I have the color, is my screen getting messy, y'all? I have the colors uh, spiced orange, imagine that, and butternut squash, there you go. <laughs> now what I did is I took the butternut squash color, I'm gonna try to zoom in so you can see this. Watch me mess the whole show up. Watch it be like, cause I can't see the screen. Did I zoom, Shannon, can you tell over there? Um, I don't know if you did or not. Ooh, I may be super zoomed now, cause I have a delay, no, y'all. That's, are we good? Yeah, you're not bad. Can you see me? Uh-huh, I can see you. Hang on. It's about what you're seeing still. It's about, okay, okay. All right, here's what I did. I took the lighter color, and I'm going, to, and watch how messy I'm gonna be. I'm gonna flick it in here, but I don't wanna cover every single bit. I'm just flicking it out. Don't worry that it's coming out. And I'm really over exaggerating so you guys can see that, okay? So I'm gonna flick it. And you see how I'm leaving some white in there? I'm not covering the whole thing. Just flick it, okay? I want some negative space, all right? Tell you what, since flicking is working so good, I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna cut these apart so I can keep flicking. What's up, bug? Welcome in. All right, flick, flick, leave some white, leave some white. The white just brightens it up, okay? This is my, this is our Brenda segment right now. This is Brenda telling us, leave some white, leave some negative space. All right, so I flicked it in there. Then I'm gonna take the darker color and do the um, peel. I'm gonna call it the peel. Almost said the rind, might be. On the peel, I'm just doing one strip. I'm not worried about like anything. You're just going right around the edge like that, okay? So just coloring the peel. And see how I don't care if I get out of line? Because I'm gonna cut this guy out. Just like that, and ah, stay in there. Okay, so that's that. Now watch this, so easy, ready? We're gonna cut these guys out. What? You could totally do this with your SVG file and cut it out like a die or something like that, but the reason I didn't worry about it here is because I knew I was gonna be messy coloring, so it's quicker for me to do the messy color and just hit this with the scissors like this. Oh, this one did good, it's got a lot of white showing. I also like that they'll all look a little bit different. Ah. How many do you want in the bag? Lucy asked if you are coloring with oh, a water-based marker, is mm. VersaFine better? Uh, which, this one's for watercolor. I would use the VersaFine. Wait a minute. Yeah, because this one is water-based. Although Memento says when dry, it's water resistant, but sometimes it moves on me. Have you noticed that? Um, sometimes, yeah. Because it's water based, but it says it's water resistant, but I don't know about that. Just don't use Distress for sure. This is the one perfect for watercolors. So that's the one I would use, Versa Fine. Okay, now then, I'm gonna keep cutting these out. 
Y'all, what's ironic, what's weird is doing the oranges and then cutting this makes me feel like it's scratch and sniff. <laughs> I'm like, man, this smells like oranges. <laughs> Now you're using your brain to my in, brain's getting me yourself getting me. That would be cool if they were scratch and sniff. I think they would be. All right. Now you're thinking, but what about the top? This is where it's even easier. It's just a straight line cut. Just a straight line. We're gonna go like this. Try white chocolate. <laughs> Shannon's having too much fun over there with the chocolate and the orange slices. Well, I try to milk chocolate first, so now I'm trying white chocolate because they taste different. White chocolate's the best to me. Okay. Now then, we got these done, and I did a couple earlier. I love these little orange slices. I did a couple. We might use them too. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Here's the two I did earlier. Less ink them. Oh, Lynn, I am so sorry to hear that, but I'm glad we're here for you today, and I want you to know you'll be in our prayers. But I'm very, very sorry to hear that. Do you see how the um, inking these changes everything? It makes them feel very real. I think it's pretty cool. All right, now then. We'll also add you to our prayer list. Tamitha, I'm sure, is already doing that. She's, like, on it. Okay, so... Get these guys all inked up, and then we're going to use them on our little tag. Inking. I can't talk in ink. I, I colored in ink. I colored and talked today. They're, they can't talk because I hear one of them's mouth is full. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I hear one of them over there enjoying herself. And I noticed that all of it's over there with her. She didn't bring it over here to <laughs> I share. I brought you two. One. 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 You, can have a, you can have a testy one in a minute. All, all right. Good. So now check this out. Here's my thought. First off, I thought I would glue this directly together and just have a little bit of that showing. But I think what I'm going to do is poke a hole and kind of put them at an angle. So let me get my hole punch here. We'll start with that. That's so cute. Isn't it cute? I think I'm going to do something like this. So I poked a hole through both of them on kind of an angle. And I'm that OCD person that glues them together at an angle. I know. Not OCD. Not everybody does this, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick a little glue back there and just do that. And then this guy is going to live here somehow. I couldn't decide if I wanted him to also be a tag or to be like fishtailed or if I wanted to do something different with him. I think he'll be cute, fishtail. Let's see what he looks like. He may not work. We can do something else if he doesn't. Any of you guys do like this when you're making a gift? You just kind of make up the tag, and then when you're done, you're like, oh, I wish I'd have made more of those because I, I really like how that turned out. So, yeah, let's do it like that. That'll be cute. So let's poke that hole, too, now that we know where it's going to go. Just go right through here. Okay. So then... I'm going to glue it down, too, because I'm that person. I might even not glue it centered. All right, now I want to put these oranges on it because I think they'll be cute. And I'm not really sure how I want them to go, so I'll just kind of play around a bit and see what I think. Something like that is really cute. I like that. Yeah, let's do that for sure up there. So I'm going to hold that in place and put some glue under it if I can get my, pen to go, I mean my tip to go under there. And then put a little glue here. Pretty cool, right? I think this is cute. Very cute. All right, and then let's put another one down here. Hmm. Maybe just one, because I like to do thing and do things in threes. Looks pretty good. Let's go that. That way, I have three more to do another one with. Okay, now you guessed it. You guessed it. We're going to put this onto our treat. So we've made. Look, our orange slices are in a package. I typically just kind of wad them up, but Shannon's not going to wad them up. She's going to make well, them look beautiful. So I typically just wad them, and these smell so good. we get this guy to move. There we go. So look at that, y'all. Look, look, look. Now, I'm going to do this like this. Probably, I'm going to cut that um, sticky off. We're using one of our card bags. You can use a... I don't, are these food safe? Don't they say on there they are on this bag? I think we read that before that they were. 
I hope they are since we're using them. Well, we're just using them for example, but I'm pretty sure they say on there they are food safe. Pretty sure I read that before. It says for decorative uses only. Well, maybe not. Okay, use one that's food safe. Don't use this one. We're just using what we had in here <laughs> to show y'all. Um, Pretend it's cellophane bags that yeah. we sell that are food safe. Yeah, we do have those too, but they're so big. Um, you want to help me out with this real yeah. quick? Um, I'm just okay. mention we do have 533 people watching, according to mine, but we only have 257 likes. I'm using we need some likes. I'm using Shannon for this, but at home when I'm by myself, a clothespin is what I would use. I would stick a clothespin up there to hold that in place. I am the expensive clothespin. But she is my clothespin right now, so let me cut this ribbon off. Y'all know I always use more ribbon than I need because I can always trim it off later. And you see that I'm using brown? I wanted y'all to see, thank you, perfect, I can finish. I wanted y'all to see Christmas done, not in all the colors that we think we have to do. This is a great Christmas gift. It's also a great fall gift. Now you did see that I went ahead and I tied this bow. Don't worry, we're gonna put the tag on in just a second. I'm gonna show you how I do that. All right, so let's get our bow looking like we want it. Probably could have used the bigger ribbon. She did give me the bigger ribbon and I went with the thinner, but could have used the bigger. I just think this brown ribbon is so pretty. Okay, so let's just do it like that for now. Leave those alone, and then what I'm gonna do, oh, I need to scoot that. Oh, that's not Baker Swan. Where'd my Baker Swan end up? That wasn't it. Shannon knows, she knows where everything is. We put it behind a closed door. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm gonna dig into the orange Baker's Twine. See how you can, you don't have to use mm -hmm. everything you think. You gotta have all those traditional colors, you don't. Then what I'm gonna do is take this little guy and tie it on with this. So it'll also give me another color on here and I think it'll be cute. Now, I there's a couple, you can tie this like in a knot, but think about your recipient. They're probably gonna wanna just untie the bow. Cause they're gonna want quick access. Yeah. We have my, um, bead thread or somewhere we let somebody do we show it or you, i don't know here i got it i got it i got it i got it there we go okay you think they're gonna want quick access or easy access mm -hmm. we know where scissors are i think both are the same they won't be able to get in there so if you're gonna tie a bow you probably want more length than i gave myself okay but get this laid in there like so wouldn't this be cute at everybody's place when they come for lunch or something? Because these, these really do make a perfect little after. Like at Thanksgiving, when we had our family over, what we did was everybody sat around and they ate the big lunch, but then we waited for dessert. But this would have been perfect just to have a little something sweet right after, right after we ate. All right, and then I'm gonna trim away the excess that I don't need. Snip, snip. And that is another part of our segment. Look how cute that is. Wishing you all the um, flavors of this delicious season. Look how cute that is. Vinny would love to get this. Lisa, we cannot send these out to all of our subscribers. <laughs> but aren't they precious? What an easy, did you see how fast we did that? We've only been live for 45 minutes and we didn't even start that. We've literally done this that quick. So, so cute. All right, so we have that one done. So let me show you what we've done today. We've done the tag and the snack, and we've done our centerpiece. That's two. Or, that's three of our segments right there. Wouldn't this be beautiful to be your centerpiece with the oranges, and then everybody gets the orange sliced treats at the table? Oh, yes. That would be so pretty, yeah. wouldn't it? All right, we still have. I knew we had another segment. We still have. <laughs> we have two two more segments. Technically <laughs> three. We're going to do real quick. So I'm going to move this out of the way. All right. To another crafty segment, you guys asked us, asked us some questions. Now, here's what I need you to do. Remember, we're going to be doing this every day for 22, um, for not 22 days, for 16 days. Um, yeah. We're going to be doing 16 days of this, okay? And you guys asked us some questions. Look how few questions I have in the question cup. This is a mug that was sent to me by a subscriber, and we're going to use this as our question cup, okay? So every, every day, every weekday that we're doing... Orange you glad it's Christmas. We're going to answer a question, okay? So I'm going to reach in here and answer a question. What I was saying all that for is I need you to submit questions, but I don't need you to submit them here in the chat. I need you to submit them in the comments below so Tamitha can grab them. So if you want your question in this cup, 
put your questions in the comments below when the video after the video goes um, when we're not live anymore so we can get it. Here's the first question. This one says, what is the weight of cardstock and why does it matter? I'm going to answer all these kind of quickly. Cardstock has weight, kind of like, what's something else that has weight to it that you, whenever you, if you're in a, like plastic has a weight, like um, plastic bags are like so many millimeters and Ziploc bags are thicker or you know how they have a thickness or a thinness to them. Same thing with cardboard, how you have a thicker cardboard and a thinner cardboard. Cardstock does that too. So some cardstocks are like this, just regular old cardstock, right? And then some cardstocks are like, don't let me down, Ben. Don't let me down, Ben, like this. This one is not your mama's. Is this? No, this is not. This is, um, I think this is alabaster. But there's one even thicker than this. So the, that's what weights are. Weights just let you know basically how thick you can expect your cardstock to be. Basically, that's what it does, because I'm just giving you the basics. Now, why does it matter, the second part of that question? Because depending on where you're using cardstock, it matters. If you're wanting to make a card base, you don't want to use something super thin. It won't hold the items you're putting on it. If you're going to make an album, like a mini album or a folio, you want something that's going to be sturdy enough to hold up. So you do have to learn your weights and what you use them for. Now, I try very hard in all of my videos to, um, I just read that question. I try very hard in my videos to tell you what weight I'm using or at least put it in the description below of the video so you can see. But I also have some, some videos where I've discussed paper weights and things like that. And so we'll link that for you guys here. And then I'll try to get Tamitha to go back and link that in the description of the video so you guys can watch it later too. So that's the basic answer on that. That's a basic answer. All right, that was question cup. Who's gonna be submitting questions to the question cup? Who's going to do it? We'll do this one last. We'll do this segment last. So, all right. Another segment. Are you ready for this On segment? On to the ready? next. This segment. <laughs> Here's what happened. When we were talking about oranges and Christmas and all that the other day, I said something. Somebody on the live said, oh, like a Terry's chocolate orange. And I'm like, yeah, like a Terry's chocolate orange. And then Shannon said, I've never tried a Terry's chocolate orange. And I was like, what? We have to fix that, you guys. So we're going to try one today. I've had one, but we're going to... Have you had one? I don't remember. I we're, think I have. We're going to let Shannon try. Now i got to tell you something we discovered. There's multiple kinds of Terry's chocolate oranges now. There used to not be, but there are now. Dark chocolate, milk chocolate, mm -hmm. white chocolate, mm -hmm. crunch. I don't know if there was crunch. I don't know. But we picked up the original because I wanted her to taste the original. Okay. These are so good. If you've never had First one of these. First one ever made. It's the original. It is the original one. I was like, no, I don't, I think this is, I think they've made other one. It's probably not the So are you watching? Because I know you're going to want to know how this works. So we're going to peel this off. This is like the navel part of our orange, right? Have y'all ever seen these? I bet y'all are like, oh, we eat these all the time. I have noticed they're selling them all the time. So I'm going to open it up. It's like you're peeling the orange. Look at it. That's cool. Now, doesn't do it like the commercial. I think some people crack them before, right? Mm. I just wanted her to see it. There we go. Uh. Uh, that's enough. So look at them. Aren't they cute? They look like little oranges. Oh, little Grab one. Okay. Wonder why. You want one? I think they're so good. And if you've never seen them, look up close. Also, later on, you'll have that little bit of chocolate in the middle that you can eat, which I love. Let me see if I can get that to focus. So I always figured this was going to be like an orange. I figured this was going to be like what you made. Right, but it's not. And it's not. It's not. It kind of tastes like it. Does it? Yes. It has a lingering orange flavor. Uh -huh. I think it's delicious. And I am not hating it. I love them. Because I love orange. Mm-mm-mm. Like Gino's I about them. They're, I think they were European before we got them. I think they had them over there. It really makes me think of um, the, the the things that he sends us. Mm-hmm. Jaffa uh -huh. cakes. Uh-huh. Maybe that's why I like it so much. It's mm. like a Jaffa cake, a cakeless. Made in France. A cakeless Jaffa cake. Made in France. Yeah, somebody called me out. You should crack it before you open it, but I wanted to see the orange. Hello, G. Now Welcome. you can just do this. You can just peel segments off. That's so cool. 
Isn't it neat? I love these things. Look at G. Hey, y'all. He's trying to speak our language. Hey, G. So we can understand that he's saying hello to all of us. <laughs> he said y'all. He's not oh. just talking to me now. How about that segment? <laughs> Do y'all like the segmented, the idea of the segmented Christmas show? This is so delicious. So good. Such a good, yummy day. We have had a good day. Yep, yep, yep. All right. We need to try your own camera for them. Did we eat them all? Oh, no. I didn't eat one of Did them. Did we eat them all? You want to bring them up here and show them how many you made? Can you fit them all on there? Shana's been doing this. I got to show y'all why y'all have been watching. Just don't drop <laughs> Another them. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Me get out of the way? All right. So look what she did. Smarty Pants took the other chocolate and drizzled them. I didn't drizzle all of them. I, I just was gonna say cause, some interest. Because Vinny's a purist. You can't drizzle them all because he would be sad, wouldn't he? The ones we drizzle are not bad, though. They're not? He's a purist. All right, check it out. Which one do you want to try on camera? There's a little gnat in here. From York in 1932 is when they were made. Which one do you want to try? Vinny, what do you want, a white chocolate? Yeah. Yeah, because I made Wait. them have, have swirls. I'm going to get you this one that's got a lot of white chocolate. I'm going to do a white chocolate, too. I hadn't had one in years. Because I didn't make them last year, I don't think. When's the last time I made them? I don't know. A long time. It's been years. You know what's really Wait good about them, too? Let me tell you something. Okay. Let me get the food out of my mouth. Because somebody will watch this later and go, I can't believe you talk with their mouth full. I'm Southern. We do that. Uh, if you make these and you don't eat them at, the, at one sitting, you need to put them in an airtight container because orange slices will stale. And... They're so perfect right now because they're almost the same texture as the chocolate, which makes them really good. But if they get too chewy, to me, they're not as good. Also, if you're not going to eat them that quick, make less and just make them again so you don't have them all. <laughs> Shannon, Tamsin said, Shannon, aren't you, aren't you glad you tried it? I am. <laughs> I think they're delicious. Mm -hmm. I've had enough sugar for a minute. I'm going to save that one for a little bit later. I love the milk chocolate ones. I think they're also good. This poor chocolate, we killed it. Look, it's blooming. If you've ever had the white chocolate ones, See if you've ever had a dream sickle, mm -hmm. popsicle, tastes exactly like that. Yep. He loves them. He loves them. So, it's just an idea. How many of you are going to make these for your Christmas table or for people that come over? I think they're so good. Well, you owe it to yourself to try them. A cream sickle. There you go. I think I said dream sickle, but it's I think they're called dream sickles. They're dream sickles too. I don't know. All right. No, they don't last long. We got one last segment for you guys today. This is the last segment. Have I done everything? I think so. In this cup, we're gonna play a game, but I have to tell you about the game first. It's gonna be um, Would You Rather Christmas Edition. But I don't want you to answer it in the chat here, okay? We're gonna, this is where we're going to end our segment today. And when we end, I want you to come back to the comments and I want you to leave your answer to our Would You Rather, okay? And then at the end of each week, we're going to draw a winner from our comments of all the videos, okay? From the Would You Rather answers. So what did I say? Where are you? So I'm going to let y'all tell me. Where are you supposed to post your comment? Not in this chat right now. Not in the live chat. I want you to come back under the video and I want you to comment in the comments under the video so we can keep you. We won't have you here, okay? Oh, Garrett said you're the dream sickle, Vinny. That's sweet. There you sweet. go, my friend. So in the comments under this video, I want you to come in and leave your comment, okay? Um, where can you buy? We got ours at Walmart, that Terry's Chocolate Orange, but I've seen it everywhere. This feels like an ad for Walmart today. It wasn't. We just went um, to the store yesterday not and got everything. Not sponsored. We just went and got everything. In the video comments, not in the chat, if you want to be entered to win. So I'll give away at the end of each week or at the end of, it'll be tomorrow we'll give away a prize. Next Friday we'll give away a prize. And then Thursday. Right? So we'll give away three all together. Okay. Y'all ready for our as many as? Oh, Gary said, I've seen Maymay's puppy eyes a staring. Y'all ready for our, not our as many as. This is, why did I say that? I don't know. Is that, 
something I need to be doing? No, don't say it. This is your would you rather question. So as we do this, whenever we get to bring everybody back to camera, other people will do parts of these segments. Like Vinny may do a question segment, Shannon may do one, whatever. We'll mix it up. Here we go, ready? Would you rather <laughs> see the Nutcracker or dance in the Nutcracker? That's a good one. Would you rather see the Nutcracker or dance in the Nutcracker? Y'all can answer here, but make sure you answer in the comments below because you won't, that's your entry in the comments below. I would rather see it. Would you rather see the Nutcracker or dance in the Nutcracker? Definitely not dance in it, so. I feel like, I think I know Shannon's answer. Well, I mean, if I could dance, I would dance in it. Otherwise, I'm going to sleep through it because I've been to the <laughs> Nutcracker. I know me too. <laughs> can we say neither? <laughs> How about um, um, the night before Christmas or Scrooge or something else? <laughs> see the Nutcracker or dance in the Nutcracker? That's your, <laughs> Kara said he can't wear tights. <laughs> Also, mouse, maybe, or something. also, when you're putting in your um, comment, tell me why you chose it, if you want to. You don't have to. But I think it'll be cute to be like, I'd rather dance in the Nutcracker because I took dance. Or I think that'd be a neat way for us to get to know everybody, yeah. too. Or I'd rather see the Nutcracker because I was in the play at, when I was in high school or something like that. That would be neat. Liz says, good golly, me dancing in the Nutcracker would be horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's two things I cannot do. Act and dance. Amen. Cannot do it. <laughs> cannot do it. Amen actor dance all right guys that is our very first art can you do both sure you can do both you won't want to do both of all of them some of these are some of these aren't like that easy I thought you were fixing and that. i think no. neither neither is a comment too i don't know because it's would you rather i don't think you can say neither you got to pick one oh. would you rather do this or do that the good news is we're not we're not casting for the show or anything so we're not going to be like you said you would do it <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that um, how do you add a comment under the video? Good question. You, when we go, when we end this live stream, the video will populate onto my face, to my YouTube page, which is May May Made It. Okay. And you can just go right under there and type a comment. Oh, who knew? Lisa just gave you some, some, uh, facts for today. Read them off. Which one? Do you see it? I don't. Lucy's comment. You had to scroll a little bit. I had to. All right. Mine's gone up a little bit. I've not seen oh, it. Oh, okay. I've not seen so it. So both have a solid sherbet exterior. Wait, what? Read from the beginning. Dreamsicle versus creamsicle. There you go. Both have a solid sherbet exterior, but a creamsicle technically has an ice cream center, which while a dreamsicle has an ice milk center. Who knew? Oh, I had I, no idea. Then I definitely want the ice cream one. Creamsicle. I want a creamsicle. Uh, Lupa, you can't comment it right now. It's because we're live. But when we end the video, you'll be able to. You will be able to. All right, guys. Now, we we may not be able to pray at the end of every, sec, every show, depending on where we are, because I want to let y'all know. Some of this we're going to be doing on site. We've got some plans to like travel. Are y'all excited? Like we got a lot of plans for y'all this month. So some places we're going to be in different places and stuff like that. But we're in our setup here and we, I mean, we can pray anywhere we want to pray. I have no problem stopping and praying wherever I stand on the street. If I need to, I have no problem with that. But today we're going to pray. Plus we haven't been with you guys for a while. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we pray. But just know if sometimes I don't end one of our uh aren't you glad it's Christmas segments with prayer? It's because we're in a situation where it's we can't or it's not. It, if I can, I will. How about that? There you go. How about that? So today we'll end today in prayer, and we want to make sure to lift up um, our sweet friend who's going through some grief today. We understand what that's like, and um, we want to remember all you guys that are that are struggling over the season or even those of you who are really enjoying the season i really pray that you can get the most out of the season you possibly can okay i want you to get every little bit out of it that you can and so we're gonna let vinnie my mate on the oh, street why don't you pray today i will be happy to pray for her. so I'm, I'm gonna close this in prayer god thank you so much for this day thank you so much for this community thank you for, that it just means so much to us to be able to come together every day in December and hang out with our friends that we that we've gotten to know over the years and God you've just blessed us with um, this 
this opportunity, and we thank you for it so much. God, for those that are struggling, that are going through grief, God, I just ask you to be close. Just hold on to them, God. You tell us that you are close to the brokenhearted, and I believe that. I believe you're with us, each and every one, and uh, you can comfort us because that's what you know how to do, God. I pray that you'll bring peace uh, to those who are grieving today, to those who are hurting, give them those pockets of peace that they can rest in and they can just remember who you are and how strong and how powerful you are. Mm-hmm. God, you know we've got a lot going on in our in our family here and um, a lot of sickness that's going on, a lot of testing that's going to be done, things like that. God, I just ask that you'll just do your will in all those situations. You'll heal those people um, that are sick. You'll be with those who are going through some testing that might be nervous and let them know that you're in control. God, for those watching today that this may not be the easiest season for them, I pray you'll just remind them that you are God mm. and you are everything they need. You are the the I am. Whatever they need, you are there for them. Thank you again for this opportunity. Thank you for um, everything you do for us and for those that are watching. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, this was a lot of fun. We did an hour. I thought they'd be 30 minutes. Not today. Today was a big one. Yeah, today was a big one. Some will be. Some of these will be 30 minutes. Some will be 15. Some will be 20. We're just going to play it by ear, and you'll just see us every weekday at 2 p.m. doing something that we do from somewhere that we go or something that we do. Um, if you have an idea for one of our shows that you would like for us to do, or the question, submit it in the comments. We really do want to hear it, and we want to do um, the kind of show you guys want to do, want to see. Did I give you the mouse back? Yes. <laughs> no, if I did or not. Hey, it's in the show. All right, guys, we love you very much. And until, oh, wait a minute. I do want to say this because I bet you'll have this question. This is not going to replace our Tuesday night shows. We're still going to be doing Tuesday night shows, but this will replace our Thursday afternoon shows because I know that'll be a question you have because it's already, you know, Thursday afternoon anyway, that time slot, but we'll still see us on Tuesday nights. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much. (laughs) Bless you, Shannon. That was so funny. They don't see your face in the camera, but I have her over here and her whole head went. (laughs) So thank you guys so much for being here. And until tomorrow at 2.30.